This fit chick hates bodybuilders. Lifting weights is for lazy people. You're spending more time resting than actually lifting. In no other sport can you see people chilling and swiping on social media during their workout. So if you don't like exerting yourself too much, you belong to the gym. I think I found my soulmate. I also told you guys I had a huge female audience. If you train like a typical bodybuilder, you're lazy. Bodybuilders preach doing exercises sitting down and do anything they can to make the movements easier, like taking out stability and using all this fancy equipment. This is why athletic bodybuilding is much better. Athletic bodybuilding consists of building muscle with athletic movements. Instead of hiding from stability demands, we run towards it, which helps to build functional muscle you can use in real life and sports. This fit <laughs> chick tore her ACL by being an idiot. The amount of leg machines there are is pretty crazy, especially considering the fact that they're all stupid, especially this one. Leaning back on the pad like that puts a posterior to anterior force on the tibia. This puts a lot of tension on your ACL and one bad rep can tear it. This fashion chick tries to give you physical therapy advice. To achieve better, more commanding posture, start doing 20 chin tucks every single day. This will help eliminate that nerd neck that you've developed over years of slouching over a computer, playing video games, or doing homework or whatever. Well, this is valid advice to fix nerd neck directly. Most cases of a nerd neck are just a compensation for rounded shoulders, not from our direct issue in the cervical spine. Which means in order to fix nerd neck, we need to restore the natural curvature of the thoracic spine. To do this, you stretch the pec and strengthen the mid and low traps with Y and T raises. Or floor Y and T raises if you don't have access to cable. This fit chick doesn't even know how to walk on a treadmill. Grabbing onto the bar while you're doing cardio has to be the softest thing you can do. Not only does it defeat the purpose of walking on an incline, but it's not task specific at all. You and I both live life without rails, so you should train that way too. This is a big reason why I'm an advocate for training standing up. Because during daily activities and sports, you're lifting standing up. So even if you're falling off the treadmill, don't grab onto it because it's not task specific. This fit chick destroyed her back by being an idiot. This machine is stupid and lazy. First, the center of mass displacement is completely unnatural, which is why she fall over like a pancake when the weights run home. Second, there's a fixed range of motion, so you get no stability benefits from the movement. Doing a more functional exercise like a normal squat is so much better. And you can do a front squat to target the quads and a low bar squat to target the glutes and hamstrings. This fit chick needs to stop focusing on looking pretty and focus on performance. She's wearing all this fitness gear that isn't even benefiting her. Wearing knee sleeves gives you the confidence to do weight you can't handle. You're also relying on an external piece of equipment for stability. And squat shoes hide poor ankle mobility. You should use normal lifting shoes with a flat stole instead. These shoes work for all other lifts and forces you to work on your ankle mobility. This fit chick needs to stick to yoga because she picked a terrible exercise. Not only is the sissy squat not functional at all because of the unnatural displacement of your center of mass, but it's an unsafe movement. Leaning against the pad causes a posterior to anterior force on your tibia. This force puts a lot of tension on your ACL and can lead to ACL tear. 